In this episode, Grant abandoned Brendan and myself, but left us with a multi-million dollar task to make our very own oil rig company. Let's get into it. Well, welcome back to another episode of Gold Mining. It is a great slash weird day. I woke up to a message from Grant saying, hey, I'm going out of town for a business trip and you're in charge of the mine. So me and Brendan hopefully are going to be able to get everything rolling today. Um, he also said he wanted us to do something to make a little bit extra money something about starting our own oil rig company i'm gonna ask brendan see if he knows anything about it. looks like he's already up here working today getting the dirt pushed i know he was working most of the night last night and we had the night crew kind of just come in and and do their own job so i'm gonna see how much gold they ended up producing overnight because if grant's talking about starting his own oil rig we are gonna need a lot of money well good morning about time you got here well, I slept late, okay? What do you want from me? Yeah, of course you did. So, I got a question for you. Yeah. Did Grant talk to you at all about, like, the oil rig thing that he was wanting to do? Because he just said, we're starting an oil rig company. And I know nothing else other than that. Uh, yeah, he really didn't tell me anything. He said uh, we had to go pick up some stuff. It was already loaded up on trailers, but that's about it. Well, I mean, if that's all he wants us to do, I guess let's go ahead and figure out what we got to do. How many trailers is over there? I think he said, like, 11, maybe 12, something like that. Good. Good lord, that's a lot of trailers. Yeah, it's going to take a while. We only have one semi-truck. Yeah, I was going to say, we need to go buy some semi-trucks. Because, yeah, we only have one right now. And uh, with okay. both of us, do you think Grant's coming today? Or is he uh, gone for the day? I, I ain't seen nothing. I saw he was on the uh, slopes on his Instagram, but I thought he'd be back by now. You're, hold on, hold on. You're telling me he's on the slopes? Yeah, he was out snowboarding. He told me it was an important business meeting in the Tays. Oh, well, his Instagram says otherwise, so... I need to start following that man on Instagram. How much gold did y'all end up producing yesterday? We produced uh, quite a bit. I can't remember. We got some pallets over here. Let's go look. All right, that looks like a lot, a lot of gold. I, yeah, I'd say it's a decent amount. That, that's, a, that's more than a decent amount. What is this, about two days worth of gold already? Yeah, yeah, day and a half, two days. So, yeah, we've been going pretty good here. So Yeah, we need to get rid of this gold because I don't think it's a smart decision to keep all this good gold out here. Yeah, it's probably not the safest option uh, because we haven't We've been leaving the doors open too, so someone can come, come by and snag all this at this point. So wait, do we have uh, we have a semi trailer we can haul this on, right? We have a regular flatbed trailer for pickup. That works. Yeah, pickup will work. So I'll go get that. Do uh, you want to get one of the skids there so we can start getting everything loaded? Yep, I can do that. All right, sounds good. All righty, we're actually going to use Brendan's truck for this. I don't think my truck's a really good option to use for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did you say? What, Brendan? You using my truck? Yeah. That's not a company truck. That's my personal truck. Man, it's becoming a company truck today. Don't worry. If I would have drove my truck, we would have ruined all the gold, okay? Well, if you scratch my truck, it's on you. You're paying for it. Oh, scratch it? Got it. Come on, come on. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah, the axle's supposed to flip like that, definitely. Did you say the axle's supposed to flip like that? I don't think the axle is supposed to really move. You don't want to see what I just did, then. Oh, no, I'm, I'm in the skid steer again. This is not good. Who who planned this? I did. Oh, of course you did. You should have matured by now. You should know how to unload or load up gold by now. Just remember, if you break one jar, it comes out of your paycheck. Yeah, that's not a uh, very good. Aren't they like a hundred grand a piece, pallet wise? Yeah. Yeah, that's. I can't afford that. So we're gonna be extra careful here. All right, that should be about good. Getting it off the trailer is always the hard part. Come on. Maybe. Come on. Maybe. Come on, please. And he has right. done it. His first official <laughs> successful pallet unload. Come on, so give him far. a clap. Let's go. All righty. So I had to kick Brendan out of the skid steer. He kept messing up there a couple times. We don't like to embarrass him like that, but. Yeah, what did you just do? You almost you almost broke it. I didn't come close to doing what you did. You dropped one on the ground. I don't want to hear it. Oh, did I? So we're just going to leave the John Deere there. So let's go ahead and put the straps on all this. All right, Brendan. I'll let you get back to work. I'll be back in a little bit. And all we got to do is just simply drive up here. That's two million, three million, and oh. $2.8 million. That actually may be just enough money to get us started with this new project Grant wants us to do. So let me go back and tell Brendan what we need to do. Oh, yeah. Right there. Hey, Brendan. Yeah, what's going on? Go ahead and get out of that. We got to go to town. Okay. I see my truck is back in one piece, so that's a good sign at least. Yeah, one piece. 
ish. What do you mean ish? There, there was an incident that happened. We, we don't want to talk about it. Where are we even going? You said we're going to town. There, well, there's a new truck dealership that just opened up here recently. Oh, do I need this trailer or can I detach it? Uh, no, actually, you might want to jump on into the semi truck because we need to really go buy like two or three semi trucks. So I'm leaving my truck here. Got it. I'll just yeah. park the truck by the other trailers, I guess. I'll spin around. We're not selling that truck, are we? Oh, no. Grant would kill me. All right. Good, good, good. All right. Hang on. I am hanging on. Can you turn off the Jake brake, please? Why? It is so obnoxiously loud. Oh, now you're just doing it on purpose. I have no clue what you're talking about. Oh, my goodness. There is a ton of trucks. Do we have an idea of what we're looking for here or just anything, really? I know at minimum we need to get you a truck and Grant a truck, Ooh. even though Grant's okay. not going to help us today. But uh, it'd be nice to have him a semi-truck when he gets back so he can quit taking mine. So I have an idea. If you want to just look behind you there, you, you, you see that truck off in the distance? Oh, that thing looks ugly. Yeah, that's Grant's truck for sure. Perfect truck for him. Oh, well, let's see. That cab's kind of small. Is he going to fit in there? He should fit. As long as she quits eating the Krispy Kreme donuts. Well, let's see if she'll crank up. Yep. She does not seem like she wants to start at all. It's perfect. Because you get a two for one out of it. Grant gets the worst truck. On top of that, we make Buck do work. It's the best thing ever. Neither of them want to show up. They can do work. Exactly. You know what, Brendan? What? Let's go ahead and just find a sales rep. Let's go ahead and get us some semi trucks bought so that we don't take too long doing this because we need to honestly get to work because daylight's running out on us. Yeah, that's true. Let's do that. All right. We just spent $350,000 on three brand new to us trucks. So I went with this international truck right here. We had one of these back in the Yukon. I love this truck. I wanted another one. Now, Brendan, what'd you go with? Oh, I went with this beautiful Kenworth W990 here. This is this thing's a beast. We got the all black options here with the chrome fenders. Oh, it's a beauty. Oh, I do like it a lot. It looks so good. And then of course the hunk of junk. That's gonna be the Grant and Buck truck. It's beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous, I tell you. All right, I guess I'm gonna load this semi truck on the back of the trailer as well. Everything's nice, strapped down. Grant's truck, my truck, and of course the spicy kitty. You ready to roll? I am ready to roll. Let's hit the road. Never come back until we need another semi truck. And we are back on the gold mine. Before we start transporting stuff, me and Brendan need to figure out how we're gonna load this stuff first, and then we need to figure out where we're putting everything. Glad to see you made it back in one piece. Yeah, we'll say one piece. Great job. Um, we need to unload this stuff. We do have one problem. What's that problem? So the international will come off without any problems. Yeah. How are we gonna get this off if she don't start? Um, I'll sit in there, put it in neutral, and I'll steer, and you can push. Yeah, that ain't working. You think that's gonna work? We're about to find out. You got it hooked up? Yep, it's all hooked up. All righty, let's go ahead and start pulling it down. Gotta bring it back slowly. It's pulling it kind of funky, but come on, she coming off. You know what? I think that's fine right there. Should be an ornament right there. All right, let's figure out what trucks are we taking out there. Are we taking the new ones or are we taking the old one and the new one? What are we doing? Oh, wait, you know what? We have a worse problem than that. What? Where are we putting this? I thought you had that figured out. You want to improvise? Yeah, let's do that. We're good at that. I think this may be a good little area over here where we put like the tailings. Honestly, it's it's cleared out. It's nice and flat. That'd be great, actually. I think we found the spot. Let's go ahead and start getting stuff loaded up. Well, I did not just buy this new semi-truck not to go ahead and use it today. We don't need to uh, grab the trailers, right? They're already on trailers and ready to go. For what I've been told, yes. Now, I do know Grant told me that they were not paid for yet. That it was just already sitting up here, ready to go. It's like $1.5 million for the supplies up here. Gotcha. Oh, my goodness. We might... Oh. Do we need all this? Are you sure? Grant said everything here. Uh -huh. All right, let's quit looking at this stuff. Let us let me come up here and pay the guy. Oh, man. Hey, Brody. Yeah, what's going on? He got it wrong. What, what do you mean he got it wrong? Like the price went down? Went up. Went up? We don't it have that kind not, of cash to be spending here. Yeah, it was not 1.5. It was $2 million. $2 million. Just for this supplies. How much does that leave us in our bank account then? 1.5? Ah, okay. We still got a decent amount, but... But we still got to pay for people to help us unload it all and build yeah. this thing. 
Because this ain't even yeah. all the materials, they told me. They still, they have this big yeah. piece of equipment that's coming in later tomorrow that we got to clear that land for. This is ridiculous. Wow. Well, I got a question. Why don't we go ahead and start getting the bigger stuff out? Because our permits for the big stuff are up at 2 o'clock. Yep, come on back. All right, you're good. All right. Let's check the loads, make sure they're strapped down good. Oh, you've got to be very careful this, man. You see how far the back is hanging over? Okay. All right, I'm going to lead, and you'll come second, okay? Yep, that works. My trailer feels like he's wobbling back there. That's weird, because mine's good. I'm not wobbling at all, but... Yeah, your uh, your trailer's tipping, so you might want to go slower, I guess. Good lord. And so this is the first trailer. All right, where exactly are we putting this stuff? Right there, I guess? Yeah, just kind of line it up. All right, we'll pull the pin there. All right, brody. Uh, I'll see you back at the dealership. Hey, slow down, Drift King. There's nothing wrong with drifting. I just got the new semi truck. We gotta break it in. Oh lord! You know they don't call you DK, right? They're going to. All right. What loads are left that are pretty big? That's a big one right there. Yeah, I'll take that one with the spool on the front. Oh, this is a huge one over here. I'll take that one because those are the last two humongous ones left. And then we gotta just take the other stuff. Woof! These trailers are really heavy. Oh. Are you having trouble back there? Uh, trouble is an understatement. All right, that's load number four done. And we are starting to collect ourselves a nice little pile of loads over here. And it looks like here we got ourselves a generator. On top of that, we have the pressure gauges and stuff like that in that metal crate. It's, I don't know. I'm not going to lie to nobody. I really don't know the most about this stuff because... Well, Ooh. at least you saved it. That, that was a little close. A little? I was way too close for comfort. These are the last two loads. Detach that there. And there it is. All of the supplies to be able to really start getting everything worked on. And Brendan's coming to last So What we need to do now is get all this stuff removed right here so that we can go ahead and get the actual platform put up here. It's going to be really cool when we're all done. And it should really start making us some money. Well, guys, it is the next day here. And we have actually started digging some more gold because I know this. Oh, we are getting really close to them being finished over there. And even though they're almost done, does not mean we need more money. Because I know time they're finished, that's a million dollars at our bank account. And that's only going to leave us with $100,000. And that's not enough money to run this entire mine site. So I've been trying to make sure I keep rocking and rolling, keeping dirt in both of these dump trucks. Because right now i don't think we have enough gold to really last us at least another week um happy said it looks like they're getting pretty close so we're gonna go ahead and take this over there to the wash plant and unload it hey nate yep what's going on if you look over there you see the uh the oil rig is done oh the, the, the contractors finished this morning they finished it this morning okay that's perfect yeah we should go check it out i don't know how to work it do you know how to work it i thought that's why you're working with the contractors they they didn't give me a manual or anything so i don't i don't know what to do i'm sure there's instructions over there right let's hope hey if nothing else we just wasted all our grants money and we're getting out of here okay yep sounds good and ain't this beautiful this is this a is massive. whole oil rig what are we supposed to do with this i think grant lost his mind this time I can barely see the top. Hopefully, I don't have to go to the top and uh, sit up there. I see a ladder that goes up there. You can't pay me enough to go up there. I mean, that might be your job. Uh, nope. No, thank you. This thing is humongous. Look, look at all the generators, all this stuff over here. I don't know. Flames coming from that over there. What is all this stuff for? You got some bigger generators right here. Uh, good Lord. How big of equipment do they need out here running these gens? <laughs> wow. Well, I guess these are the pipes we put into the ground to drill. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, yeah. This okay. is your job right here, adding new pipes. Uh, I'd rather not. Is there like a, a button to turn this thing on or? I don't think there's a button that turns it on. I think you need oh. a whole 10-man crew out here. Happy since I'm the person in charge. Guess what? I get the day off. Thank you. I'm no, on no, my no, way no, out. No, 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 See you later. No, 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 no. What, you what, are the, you are the official project manager of the oil rig. Now on. So I get to sit here and do nothing and make sure that it, it works. Gotcha. Yeah. Figure out the curve. All so right. Again, we need to have this thing start making money today because we've already sunk almost two million dollars into this thing. All right, let's go. We gotta go deliver this stuff to the sell point. All righty, I'll follow you. So hopefully this will make us a little bit more money than what it, we have been making. 
If it doesn't, there's a problem, so. Pretty much. Man, we need to smooth out this road through right here, because it's getting rough. It is uh, pretty bumpy through here. We definitely need a grader or something. All right. We have to deliver all this stuff down here. They have some storage containers they'll put all this stuff in and send it to an oil refinery. All right. And this is a one-stop shop for everything you need. That's uh, pretty convenient that it's right next to our uh, mine site, too. You know, that was about the only thing I agree with Grant about was having this stuff so close. Yeah. So let's go ahead and back it on up here. Got to get that hose connected. There we go. And they'll go ahead and start pumping it out. Alrighty, so we made sixty thousand dollars off this. That's pretty lost, pretty decent. And then we lost the one million dollars. Yeah, that's uh, unfortunate, but we knew it was coming. So that sixty grand will definitely help us out for the time being until we can get more oil produced and more gold going. So it should pay for itself eventually. That's what I'm kind of hoping. Let's go ahead and take this home back, and I guess get back to mining. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna leave this over here for these boys. They'll go ahead and start getting these refilled, and while they do, we're going to get back to mining on our actual gold mine because, really and truly, this is more one of the auto self-efficient ones that we hired a crew to come out here and to do its job for us. Hey, Happy, do you want to start running trucks back and forth, and I'll do some excavating? Sounds like a plan. Hey, Brandon, you on the radio? Yeah, I'm here. What's up? All righty. I think you cut in that last load. We'll call that a quit for the day. All righty. Sounds good. I think we probably have a good amount of gold already. So let's go ahead and wrap it up and call it a day. Have the night crew come in and start making their gold. Sounds good to me. Now, this is the second to final load of the night. I'm just going to go ahead and park this right up here next to the shop. Ain't no point in bringing it all the way back down there. And as the snow comes down, me and Brody are going to head back to the houses. Ladies and gentlemen, thank y'all for watching. And if y'all are looking for any other people to watch, please go check out myself, Pierce from 2, and Brody Farms on YouTube. All links are down in the description below. But hey, we'll see you in the next one. See you guys.